What's going on, guys? Welcome back. It's Will Blendon. People think because you're poor, you can't give good advice. And I'm seeing this narrative, um, you know, because people sometimes come on YouTube and start their own YouTube channel and they may be poor and they'll say the phrase, fake it till you make it. All I can say is this. I've experienced situations where I've given people that had a lot of money advice. And they've actually listened. And it was helpful. I'll give you an example. Um, this is many years ago. I was still working for the original Nextel. Remember the walkie-talkie phones? In the mall, in um, Trumbull Mall, which if you're from Bridgeport, Connecticut, is basically your mall too. And um, this rich guy comes up and we're having a conversation because I was really into real estate. And I was reading, I can remember it like it was yesterday. I was reading those Robert Kiyosaki books. You know, I forgot the name of them. Um, rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. And I was sitting there at the kiosk, it was a little kiosk, and he came up, and um, he was starting to tell me his problems, and he was like, well, I don't think you better help me, and I was like, yeah, you never know, I've been reading a little bit about real estate, you know, tell me a little something, and maybe, possibly, I can help you. So, he, um, he tells me he's got five houses in his own personal name. The bank will not give him any more money because he's hit the threshold based on his based on his income. He hit the threshold so he can not, he can't get any more money to go and buy more properties. So I was like, sir, did you ever think about putting him into a company? This is before a lot of people, I guess, was apparently putting uh, a lot of real estate in LLCs for whatever reason, you know, and it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't like it was the nineties. This is kind of recent, you know, 2000 something, early two thousands. And, it, and he said, well, what, how does that help me? It's like, sir, you're capped out because you got all those properties in your personal name. If you put all five properties in the LLC, they're not going to tell a business they're capped out. They're telling you you're capped out because they're in your personal name. Believe it or not, guys, this guy took my advice. It had probably been several months later, and he just happened to come back to the kiosk. And he's like, you know what? I took your advice. And he's like, yeah, and it, it worked. I guess he went to his accountant or whatever, had them structure LLC, Moved the properties into the LLC, and now he was no longer capped out. Hey guys, this was years ago before I really knew about corporate credit and how to structure things properly. But I knew LLCs, if you put the properties in the LLCs, they, the bank's not going to tell you you're capped out because it's in a business now. You know what I'm saying? He had the properties in his own name, so they had them at a cap of properties that he can be allowed in his own name. I thought five was a lot, honestly. So he had to be making a real money. But this guy was rich. And I was dirt poor. I still gave him advice that was useful. So never think because you're poor, you can't give somebody a good advice or a gem that can help them and actually increase what they're already doing. Did the guy give me any money? No, he didn't. Um... I don't even remember him giving me a tip, really, but he did buy a couple lines of phones from me. And believe it or not, I was excited to get a couple lines because I was thinking about my commission. You know, I had a scarcity mindset back then. But I say this to tell you that on this channel, um, I've talked to several people that were actually more successful than me. They probably didn't know it. But I've talked to several people on there. Once they told me it was in their account, I was like, whoa. You know, and I believed them because I can kind of 
I could tell when somebody's like over exaggerating the situation. And um, just one little gem that I may tell these people, I think helps. You know what I'm saying? It'd be that one thing that I know that they don't, but they're actually more successful than I am. But they just needed that one gem. So I don't want you guys to ever think that because people are smarter than you or more successful than you, you can't give them advice that can help boost them to the next level. You know, I've discovered that on this journey. And I've given several people, like I said, great advice. I've picked up people in my Uber that were in real estate. And I would be like, you ever thought about doing this or doing that? And it's like, no, I haven't. And I know they went home thinking this. Uber driver just gave me a great idea. This is how my mind works. You know, I'm always thinking how to level up and how somebody that has access to already capital more than me could really maximize that capital. So I love talking to successful people. I love when somebody calls me up and they already have some working capital to play with because then I can give them really some stuff they can do. But when you come to me broke, broke, like I was when I talked to that guy, you just got a regular job and you're not willing to invest any money into better in your situation, there's nothing I can do for you. Like if you don't even want to pay the $3, to get in my Patreon, to get some good gems, I can't help you. But if you're willing to do the work, and sometimes it could be as simple as just watching, binge watching the right channels, you can level up, I'm telling you guys. I've learned basically 90% of what I learned in this journey on YouTube. 90%. Only 10% of it was out in this real world. So you literally can binge watch the right channels, follow the steps, and level up without buying any courses. It's possible. I'm living proof of that, you know. But you got to do the work. Some of you don't, you're, you're, you use the excuse, well, I work such and such eight hours. When I come home, I don't have time to watch YouTube, that's ball, guys. That's straight up ball. Because if you have time to watch TV, you got time to take 30 minutes to an hour to binge watch some content that could possibly level you up. That's all I got to say. Please, check the links below. So I got some great inf information below. Um, check out my new channels. Um... And um, subscribe, like, and comment, guys. Please, get into Patreon. Let's build a community of like-minded people for as little as $3, guys. You can't afford $3? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for your time.